Class of Car and Corvette Nationals, there are uh, invitational displays where they focus on a certain year make model of car. And this year, they've got a Z28 Invitational. And Charlie, you're like one of the big know-it-alls on Z28. Tell me about the whole. Setup. I know nothing. I know a lot about. I know a, a lot of a little stuff about stuff. Well, you know more than I do. So, first of all, you brought your red car. Yeah, brought a red 67Z. But before we get into that, give us a little bit of the overview of the Z28s that are here. We've tried to represent every generation of Z28 in kind of celebration of Chevrolet's brand new Z28, which Chevrolet was nice enough to bring us. And we've got one down there that people are checking out and looking at. So this is about as good of a cross-section of Zs that we've got. Anywhere from 67 Z28s to the one and only Z28 convertible, the 68 is here. That Dana Mika mode. It's pretty cool stuff. It's an incredible car. Yeah. And, and then some of the more obscure ones, like the uh, mid 70s car, is that a Macho Z28? Yeah, there's a, I think it's the DKM Macho Z28. It's a prototype car. We got him to bring that. I mean, it's stuff that you just don't see, it's oddball stuff. We've got a butternut yellow 69 Z28 right behind you that is, it's almost rat rod stage. He, Drew's been driving it for years. It's got rust holes around the wheel openings and everything, but it's, it's stuff everybody wants to see. It's fun yeah. stuff. Shows that some of these are still used. Oh yeah, uh, he drives the heck out of that car. So your 67, um, at first glance, it looks like, uh, like a very optioned car, but there's some tricks going on here. Uh, this 67Z was sold new in Fresno, California. I bought it out of Fresno from the second owner, and it was all apart. First owner took it apart, stripped it down to restore it to bare metal, and then it sat apart for years in storage. Full bolt loaded, Rally Sport Z28, Cal Plenum air cleaner, headrest seat, shoulder harness seat belts, fold down seat, deluxe interior, vinyl top, Rear speaker, rear antenna, tack gauges, wood wheel. The, Just about everything you can throw. The really rare, the headrest seats and shoulder harness seat belts are very unusual on a 67. And when I got it, the motor was out of it, but it was a CE warranty engine that he grenaded the motor way back when and when it was still under warranty. But I had an experimental Chevrolet aluminum engine in my pile of junk that. I needed a good place to put it, so when I re had this car restored, restored it, put that aluminum engine in, it was a great place to put the car, I thought. But it looks cool, sounds cool, drives great. Oh, I bet. So what's the story on the aluminum experimental engine? What time period does it stay back to? Is it, what's, is it 350? It's, it says 302 on the air cleaner. It's really a 327. There was R&D place, uh, it was somewhere in Detroit that closed up in the late 70s, early 80s, and they sold off some stuff. And this is a compilation of bits and pieces out of that R&D place. There's, it's an experimental aluminum block. It looks like a Chevrolet bow tie aluminum small block with a bow tie cast into the side of it. Okay. But those blocks had a real small diameter oil filter this has a large diameter, like a 69 Camaro. It's got the large spin-on type boss for the oil filter. It's one-off type thing. There's there's O dash part numbers on, like the intakes, uh, experimental O dash. They used O dash at the beginning of the numbers for experimental Chevrolet stuff. The heads are one-off type. They look a little bit later, but they're they're one-off aluminum heads that there's no part number on them. It's just all these little like numbers engraved in different spots for reference measurements and stuff. It's just cool stuff. That is cool. That is yeah. Cool. And uh, even with all that one-off, experimental, hard-to-find stuff, you still have driven this car? Yeah, it actually runs like a top. That motor runs great. It's <laughs> just don't overheat it. Nah, that's fine. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, fun stuff. Well, I imagine it's hard to stand out with a unique car amongst all of these unbelievably unique cars here, but I think the Z28 really stands tall. Thanks, I, but I also agree it's gotten lost in this sea of cars. There's so much cool stuff here that... It's a good well, sea to be lost in. Yeah, hopefully we'll get more people coming every year. It's kind of neat how we're going with this show. It's gotten to where people are restoring cars for the show. Oh, cool. So I think it's helped the whole industry on what we're doing.